being Percy. One day, the engines were waiting for their deliveries at the docks. Percy puffed up to collect his mail trucks, but Thomas and James were blocking his way. Excuse me, Percy peeped politely. I must collect the mail. James and Thomas didn't hear him, so Percy tried again. Excuse me, if I'm late with the mail, I won't be a really useful engine. But his friends still didn't hear him. Suddenly, they heard a loud whistle from behind. A voice shouted, Out of my way! Express coming through! The surprised engines all wheezed quickly into a siding. Gordon thundered past them to the front of the queue. He picked up his passengers and huffed grandly away. An idea flew into Percy's funnel. I shall be just like Gordon. Then the other engines are sure to take notice of me. He peeped as loud as he could. Out of my way! Mail coming through! Thomas and James were so startled that they steamed out of Percy's way. This made Percy feel very important. After picking up the mail trucks, Percy huffed grandly away, singing, I like being Gordon, it makes me feel bold. I'll do what I want to, not what I'm told. Up ahead, Toby was steaming slowly along. Percy didn't want to be stuck behind him, so he switched tracks. Now he was on the express line, just like Gordon. With a whoosh and a whoosh, Percy whistled away like the wind. At Maithwaite Station, the station master was waiting for Percy with the mail sacks. But instead of stopping, the small green engine raced past at full speed, shouting, Out of my way! Mail coming through! The station master was very surprised. As Percy slowed down at the next station, he saw Alicia Botti on the platform. The famous opera singer was going to dinner with the fat controller. Hello, Percy, she said. I am waiting for Gordon to take me to Knapford. Now that Percy was as loud and fast as Gordon, he wanted to take very important passengers too. I will take you there, Miss Botti, he peeped proudly. With Miss Botti in his cab, Percy whooshed friendly down the express line. Then there was trouble. Gordon was thundering towards Percy. On the same track! Oh my! Oh no! Help! cried Percy. Alicia Botti had to cover her eyes. At the last moment, Gordon swerved into a siding. His brakes screeched, but he couldn't stop in time. He bashed the buffers and toppled off the tracks. Percy felt terrible. I'm sorry, Gordon, he peeped sadly. I wanted to be fast and loud and important like you. But now I will put all of this right by just being me. Percy steamed off to take Alicia Botti to the station. Next, he puffed to the Sodor Search and Rescue Centre where he saw James. James, would you pull Ro James, would you pull Rocky with me to help Gordon back onto the track? I'm not strong enough to do it alone, said Percy. James helped to haul Rocky to the James helped to haul Rocky to the siding where Gordon had fallen. Then, with just his mail trucks, Percy steamed sadly towards Knapford. Wishing he were wishing he were any other engine but himself, he sang I'm just Percy, small and green. I'm silly, slow, and don't want to be seen. The fat controller and Alicia Botti were waiting for Percy at Knapford along with his engine friends. He slowly pulled up to the platform, feeling very embarrassed. Percy! boomed the fat controller, causing Percy's firebox to fizzle with fear. Why do you want to be like Gordon? You're perfect being Percy, and that's who I want you to be! All the engines whistled in agreement. Percy smiled. He realised that he was happy being Percy too.